Hello all and welcome to the next video here on the Onion Man's Rooftop Two-Headed Cow Caravan of Treasure. Sometimes barter. The street continues. We are in part two of the Tales from the Metal Bag issue. Uh, just for continuity's sake, in the last one we opened, or we didn't open really, we opened one thing. But I took a look at a really big Walmart haul with uh, the Black Adam movie figures, um, the Killmonger Black Panther Legends figure. Um, the Ruthless Aggression WWE stuff, and then we took a look at the two-pack order from McFarlane's website of the mega figures for Nightfall Bane and Blackest Night Necron. Um, so, oh, there goes the air purifier beeping. Pew to pew to pants. Anyway, um, yeah, moving on. This is part two. Again, if you've never seen some of my bell bag, some of my mailbags, so they don't run like over 30 minutes. If I think it's going to run over 30 minutes, I will break them into two parts. So this is the second part because that one cut it close. I think it was like right at 30 minutes. And most likely this one's probably going to run in a similar way, maybe shorter. We'll see how fast we get through. Uh, but I always do um, a separate video for all the big bad toy store orders because I have so many that come in when they finally do that it might as well just become its own thing. Um, but we're going to take a look at some stuff. Um, I'm not sure of what is in all these boxes except for one. Um, and I'm going to start with that one just because. But I, I'm pretty sure I know. Sorry. As I attempt to... There we go. I'm pretty sure I know what's in this one. Um, this is a Funko, I think. Just based on the size of the box and everything. Um, but it's a random Funko that I ordered uh, probably almost a year ago at this point. Because I think these were all supposed to be out by Christmas of last year. So December uh, 2021. And only like half of them came out. The other ones are still on pre-order. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and open it up. Pretty sure that's what this is. Just based on the size of the box. Yes, they were Christmas related. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. Yeah. Uh, but we finally got the Funko Normal Turbo Man. Yay. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah, so these went up for pre-order like almost a year ago, I think, and they were supposed to all be out around Christmas time, and, uh, we only ended up with a little bit of them, um, I know, uh, let's see here, who do I have? Okay, yeah, so we got, they're on a shelf over here, sorry, um, so we got the Amazon exclusive, like, Flying Turbo Man. We have regular Myron in his Mailman out, uh, uniform. Then we have him as Demento, or Dementor, whatever his name was. Um, then we have uh, Howard, just regular Howard, played by Arnold. And then, um, now we finally have normal Turbo Man. <laughs> um, so, yeah. There you go. And I believe that's it, unless you plan on ever getting the, like, big Turbo Man here. Um, no, I am wrong. We're missing one. Aren't we? Oh, boy. Yeah, we're still missing Howard as Turbo Man, which is just the exact same Turbo Man, but he's holding the little doll, and he has the microphone. So we're still missing Howard as Turbo Man. That's wild. I just, I find it weird that it took so long for these to, like, finally show up. Anyway, um, yeah. <laughs> just kind of weird to me. As I knocked Funkos off the shelf. I'm not the biggest Funko collector, but every once in a while, there's one that pops up. I'm just like, yeah, I'm going to get that. Uh, anyway, moving on to the next box. Uh, while we still wait for Howard as Turbo Man one day. Uh, we got this one. 
Again, yeah, not sure what's in it, but the box is a little... Uh, so hopefully it wasn't anything that could have gotten messed up. Again, I knew that Funko was coming in, and just based on the size of the box, size of the box, I was like, yeah, that's the Funko. These, the rest of them, I'm not sure. I am definitely not sure what's in that big one. Um, I feel like when I get like a box, a bigger box with stuff in it, it's what I remember the least. To be completely honest, this would appear to be a well, a Black Series figure. Okay. We have the Black Series uh, Echo. Uh, which is funny because I think I got an email yesterday that Hunter shipped finally. Um, if you haven't heard, actually, Hasbro just canceled a lot of re-releases and uh, current run figures. And ba a couple of the Bad Batch were in that. Uh, I think Hunter and Crosshair both got axed. Um, so Hunter shipped. So I believe that means the only one of the Bad Batch I'm missing is Crosshair. Um, he's still on pre-order on Big Bad Toy Store. So hopefully he comes in soon and I can finish up this whole Bad Batch set. Cool. I don't open a lot of Star Wars stuff on the channel. Um mainly because they'd be super short videos probably not worth it because even though i've seen bad batch and i am a big star wars fan i don't know enough about a lot of like the um lore and extended universe to kind of delve deep into a, an interesting video to be honest um next up we got more skinny boxes oh we got this one so, yeah, figure out what's in here. Another light box. Every time I see one of these skinny boxes, I think it's a McFarlane. So it probably is a McFarlane. Uh, oh, it is not. Okay, no, this is better. <laughs> Sorry, I had to throw that in there. But it is, the more I think about it. We have the Masters of the Universe Origins. It returns with the... Rulers of the Sun, Sun Man, Pighead. Woo. Uh, I'm so happy they're incorporating the Sun Man stuff. Uh, I think it's awesome. Um, I think in one of the last mailbags, I showed off the Sun Man that came in. And now we're getting the other characters for Sun Man. So first one up is Pighead here. Uh, but yeah, we're also getting... Um, Is man no Mantena's a Mashes of the Universe character? We're getting somebody else. We're getting this guy, I think. Whoever that is up there. Anyway, we got Pigman now. So I love Mashes of the Universe Origins line. It's been so fun to actually collect. Um, so yay. Uh, then we got another long box. Who knows? Maybe it's another one. Um, it might be because there was two that came out around the same time. There was Pighead and the other villain. And we're getting more. So that's exciting. Um, it is. Okay. It's not. I don't think it's the Sun Man related one though. No. Oh, this one had a sticker. The other one didn't. Uh, Big Bad Toy Store. I guess they're updating their advertisements because I keep getting stickers. Um. Pighead didn't have one. This one did, though. Uh, but, regardless. We got Mantena. I just love this packaging. Uh, that's what it is. That's what gets me. It's just how cool the classic packaging looks. But yeah, we got Mantena. He is a gnarly looking figure. He's got four legs. He's reverse Goro. Um, Goro from the waist down. Interesting, though. He's like a mix of... I, the four leg. I get it. He's a Mantena. He's like a sea creature. A horty bug sea creature. So he's got the four legs. Um, I'm getting like a Metaluna mutant vibe with the big, like the wide head and eyes. Oh, well. That'll be fun. Again, I love the Masters of the Universe stuff. Uh, specifically the origins 
You're not going to see me getting the, ma the new Masterverse figures and all that. But I am getting the Origins figures, so... Oh, we're making good time on this video. We're down to two boxes. Yay! Uh, next box. Filling off the address there. Um, we got a bigger box. Slightly bigger. Let's check what else here. Yay. Oh, cool. I forgot all about this. Um, and I shouldn't have because it's something I've been anticipating for a long time. Uh, we got, first off, another sticker. But now we have our Marvel Legends Toad. With the kind of classic Toy Biz style packaging. Um, pretty cool. Um, yeah, Toad is one of the last characters I needed in like a classic look for my X-Men. Um, I've been pretty much doing a classic look X-Men grab. At least my favorite versions of the classic looks. Um, and Toad was one of the last ones I needed for the Brotherhood. Um, yeah, because I have... Magneto, we got Juggernaut, we got um, Sabretooth, we have Classic Mystique, I think yeah, Toad was kind of one of the only ones left. This figure looks great though. It's definitely different than the original Series 1 Marvel Legends Toad, that had like the creepier, scary looking Toad, this is definitely a early comic books Toad. Um... So, yeah. Kind of cool, though. Small. He's really small. But he should be pretty fun to open. Comes with toads. Yep. Awesome. One step closer to completing all of our mutants in Marvel Legends. And last but not least, we have whatever is in... This uh, gigantic box. It's heavy too. So the only thing I can think of is it's either. I my guess is it's got to be a set of something. It could be like a McFarlane mega figure, but I don't know what else I ordered. Huh. All right. Let's check it out. And once I open it, it'll be another. Oh yeah. Hello there. Um, first off, another sticker. Uh, I've collected at least 10 of these now. <laughs> these stickers. I haven't thrown them away. I don't know why. I probably should. Uh, okay, we have Super 7, Thundercats, Ho! Uh, we have Vulture Man. Captain Hammerhead, and Bengali. Uh, I'm trying to remember who else was in this wave. Uh, I remember I only ordered the three. I just don't remember who else was in this wave. There's four in each one. And I remember specifically I didn't get the fourth one because I didn't really feel I needed it. I only got these three. So, there you go. Um, yeah. Super 7, much like McFarlane, is a company I have a real love-hate relationship with. All of their Ninja Turtle stuff has been perfect. Like, excellent. Thundercats, mostly good. Not quite. They kind of messed up. To me, Jackal Man was the worst offender of all of this. Um, but anyway, that aside, every, I think everything else has been pretty decent. And then, um, their New Japan figures are just all over the place. Um is what it is. So, kind of like McFarlane, I have a real love-hate relationship with them. 
But I like the Thundercats line enough that I do want to see it keep going and will support it. And their Ninja Turtle line is still amazing. So, yeah. Uh, but yeah, really glad to have these. I don't remember who the fourth one in this is. Um, yeah. I already pre-ordered uh, two of the new wave that went up for pre-order. I got the LJN classic toy look for Lionel and Mumra. Those are the only two I'm going to do that with. Um, I don't really plan on getting anybody else if they do toy looks. I just wanted those two because I feel like those two are really iconic from that original Thundercats LJ in line. Um, but yeah, but we got these three, Vulture Man, Captain Hammerhead, and Bengali. I really don't remember who the fourth one was, so must not have been important enough for me to get that person, whoever it was. Um, but yeah, there we go. And that's going to be it for this mailbag. Um, we made good time on this one. I thought this was going to take a lot longer than it did, but thankfully it didn't. Um, we got some cool stuff. Um, Masters of the Universe Origins, always super excited to see those. Marvel Legends Toad, we're getting closer to completing all of our mutants, the mutants collection I started so long ago. Uh, I feel like, like we're almost there, pretty much. I think there's like one more little pack of figures I want, and I'll be done with mutants. Um, and we got some classic Super 7 Thundercats here. So, yeah, really fun. Kind of a mixed, uh, a mixed bag, but in a good way, like a good variety. But that's going to be it for this video, um, this part two of the mailbag. Uh, if you like the video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. You do not have to if you do not want to, but I always appreciate anybody who does. Uh, and thank you. I will catch you guys in the next video.